Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics a problem and it reads and determine the speed at which the basketball at A must be thrown at the angle of 30 degrees so that it makes it to the basket at B. Alright. Solution. So we have been asked to determine the speed at which the basket at A must be thrown. Alright. So we have been asked to find B A. Alright. Okay, so before we go direct into the calculation, let me again briefly talk about um, the equations that we are going to consider for this particular problem. And I've talked about those equations in my previous videos. So we have what is called the vertical motion here. The acceleration here is constant. Okay, so for the vertical motions, we are using these equations. Y final y final is equal to y naught plus v naught times t plus half g t squared where our g is equal to minus 9.81 meters per second because it's acting in the opposite direction this is our reference we have plus x we have plus y then we have our v final which is equal to v naught plus uh, gt then we have v squared derived from the two from the two equations v final squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2g y final minus y initial we have horizontal motion horizontal motion acceleration is equal to zero so we'll have x is equal to x naught plus v naught times t Please differentiate these V nodes, they are not the same. This is V naught in the Y, okay, and this is V naught in the X, all right? This component for horizontal motion, this one is equal to zero, all right? So for this part here, okay, so I'm saying this component. This part is equal to zero, okay? That's what I'm saying. And then the same goes for final velocity is going to be equal to um, initial velocity. So velocity in the horizontal direction is constant. The same applies to V final squared is equal to V naught squared. Acceleration here is equal to zero. All right. So my reference C will be taken from this point here. And if I took it from that point there, let me, you know, try to give you all the initial boundary conditions. We have our Y not equal to 1.5. We have our Y final. Y final. equal to 3 meters here at this point here we have our x node equal to 0 meters and uh, here we have our x final which is the range which is equal to 10 meters then we have the two components from this initial velocity that we want to find. So here we are going to have what I'm calling VAX, which is going to be equal to VA cos 30. Then I'll have another velocity there that I'm going to call VAY, which is going to be equal to VA sine 30, and this is as good as 0.5 VA, right? All right, so we want to find VA, okay, that will lead this particular ball into the basket at B, all right, considering all the boundary conditions, all right. Okay, so what do you think we're going to do? Of course, let's look at the equations, which equations can we use? All right, let's check on this one. What do we have here? 
we have y final this y first y is y final we have y final yes it's uh y final is three meters y zero it is 1.5 v zero it has one unknown which is a v v v v v a sin v v v v initial rather v node y is equal to v a y it has a v a and v a which is unknown okay g we know it t we don't know it so this equation will give us two unknowns so it means we need another equation which other equation can we use let's check on this one what we have here we have x final which is the range is 10 meters x node is zero b node x okay it, it has also uh, I want unknown which is a VA and T is also unknown. So we have these two equations that we can use and solve them simultaneously. Is that fine? Okay, great. Let's go ahead. So Y is equal to Y node plus V V node Y times T plus half G T squared. Okay. What is my Y? My Y we say is three. What is uh, uh, my y node? My y node is uh, 1.5. And what is my v node y? My v node y is vay, which is what? 0.5 va times t. What is uh, here? It is going to be minus because my g is what? Minus. It's acting in the opposite direction like so right we agree mm -hmm. so this by 0 0.5 by 9.81 by t squared can we simplify this mm -hmm. let's simplify it so this is going to be equal to if we move three the other side there this is going to be 1.5 minus 3 which gives us a what a minus c 1.5 right a minus 1.5 plus 0 0.5 VA times T then when we multiply this what does it give us a 0.5 by 9.81 gives us a 4.905 T squared don't be too early in rounding off okay you can round off the final answer okay but if numbers are too large, then you can also well go ahead to round off. So I've written this completely as 4.905 t squared. All right. So simplify this one. Let's find the other one. So we have x. This equation is equal to x naught plus b naught x t. What is our x final? Our x final is 10. What is our x naught? Our x naught is what? Zero. What is our v naught x? V naught of x, v naught x is what? It's v a cos 30 times t. All right. So we have these two equations. Can I wrap here? Mind you, want to find what? V a. All right. All right. So. We have these two equations. We have this equation. I'll call this one. I'll call this two. All right. So we have two equations that we can solve simultaneously. What do you think we should make subject of the formula in two so that we replace it in one? Okay. If we made uh, t subject of the formula, uh, t subject of the formula become very complicated because we have a square there i think if we make the a subject of formula t can cancel out easily right okay great so let's make v a subject of the formula because we only have one point we have to replace it t we have two points and there it becomes again something else so let's make v a subject of formula so our v a in equation two will be equal to 10 divided by uh t cos 30 all right and then replacing this in equation number one is going to be equal to zero is equal to minus 1.5 plus 
plus 0 0.5 we replace VA is 10 over T um, T cos 30 times T minus 4.905 T square okay so T and T goes and then our zero is going to be equal to 0.5 times 10 divided by cos 30 and minus 1.5 so we'll have we're going to have a 4.2700 minus 4.905 t squared and therefore my t is going to be equal to okay, divided by 4.905 then root of that then I'll have my time is 0 0.933 seconds all right so this is the time it takes to reach uh, to reach uh, B okay for the ball to follow this project I'm motion to B okay this is the time it takes 0 0.933 seconds all right so now let's find our VA our VA therefore is going to be equal to 10 divided by T cos 30 you know what T is T is 0 0.99 seconds so T 99.933 seconds times cos 30 10 divided by answer so we have a 12.3737 meters per second okay therefore our VA is equal to 12.37 meters per second this is the velocity or with the magnitude of the velocity, which is the speed at which the basket at A must be thrown at an angle of 30 degrees so that it makes it to the basket at B. I hope the video was helpful. Continue liking and uh, subscribing and commenting. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.